Hello, Peter Fisher here. Welcome to another MySQL console webcast. Um, in the last episode, we looked at changing the default value of the MySQL uh, table schema. And in this uh, episode, we're going to look at changing the extra column in the table schema. So let's dive right in. We're in the MySQL console now. So let's describe the customer table. So it, it is as it was before uh, with uh, the new fields is active gender and title that we put in the last episode with these default fields. Today we want to focus on this extra section here and what it does and how to change it. So we can see that um, we've already got uh, an extra section in here for the ID field and that's specif set to auto underscore increment. Uh, what that does is that uh, it tells MySQL that for uh, every new record, its ID needs to be incremented, um, which means that we don't need to worry about the ID field when we're inserting new records because MySQL will handle that for us. So uh, what I want to do now is add two new column types, uh, got two new fields to this table. Uh, the first being um, created date and the second being updated date and manipulating this extra field. So let's alter the table uh, customer and we're going to add created date. We're going to set the data type to be date time. We're going to specify that it's an not null and we're going to set the default to be the current time stamp. Okay, so okay, there we go. So we've added that that one in. Um, so it's a date time. It's uh, not null, uh, and the default is a current time stamp. This basically means that for every new record that gets inserted, uh, the, there is a, a created date field, and that. Automatically, the value is automatically set to the current timestamp, the timestamp of the time that the record gets inserted. So I want to add another one called updated date. So let's alter the table again, customer, and we want to add another column, and we want to call it updated date. We want to also say that it's a date time date time and we want to say that it's uh, not null again and its default is also current the timestamp but for each time we create each time we update the uh, the the record we also want to automatically update this value so <coughs> Excuse me. So we want to specify a rule that is triggered every time this uh, this record gets changed. So we want to do on update current timestamp. Okay. So I'll just walk you through that again. So we alter the table customer. We add a new column called updated date. We set the updated dates uh, data type to be date time and we're specifying that it's going to be not null which means that it cannot be empty. We're setting the default value to be current timestamp which means that if no um, value is specified then it will be set to its current timestamp. We're then uh, give, creating a, a rule which will be triggered on update and on update we're going to set the value to the current timestamp. So enter that and then uh, describe the customer again and there we go we can see that we've got these two columns in here the difference being the uh, the updated date has this extra section uh, which basically says that for every time this record gets updated um, this va the, the value gets changed to being the current timestamp so We've got two values that we've just added that are automatic. The first one is the created date. That will be set whenever the record is inserted. 
Okay, we don't have to worry about that ever again when um, updating or inserting records. The second one is the updated date, and that gets changed every time the record gets updated. Again, we don't have to specify that from the system's point of view because MySQL will handle that using this on update trigger that we've specified. Okay, so that's how to manipulate the extra field. And I shall speak to you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.